Well, hello, YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. Now, what I want to talk to you about is how to take care of your shop vac cleaner for here at home or your workplace or wherever you decide to use uh, one of these shop vac vac cleaners and it's a good unit to have. I use it here because I like the way it works and I like the three different things it has on it and I will talk to you that as well. But how do you take care of one of these? I'll show you that as well. Now, at quote unquote, does everything last? The answer is no. The reason why everything can be very cheaply made or can be very expensive as well. Now, I bought this last year uh, because I had another shot that it went bad. But that's just the way things work here, you know? Luckily, this unit is made in USA, but not everything else is made in USA because everything else could be made overseas in China. Like all the iron components, motors and parts and everything, switches and stuff like that, could probably be made overseas. You just never know. Now, the three things I really like about this unit you know, a whole lot is it does leaves. It has the uh, detachable uh, blow attachment. It also can suck up uh, dirt, debris, and also water as well. That's what's nice about it. That's the reason why it's called dry and wet vac. It's dry and you can use it wet. But make sure you don't have a bag or filters in here because you might actually damage uh, your bag or filter if you use it for wet uh, applications for that, like cleaning up water or sucking up water with this uh, vac cleaner. Now, let me just explain to you. Here we got a black thick hose. This is the hose that comes with it. It is a really big, wide diameter hose. Now, with this type of hose, now it's larger, it has all these ridges on the sides. Now, does it get clogged like a normal vac cleaner? The answer is yes, because if it sucks up big old things than what it's designed for, it can get clogged very easily. Now, this uh, back panel here is a 16 gallon, uh, 6.5 large, uh, 6.5 horsepower motor on top of the unit. I really do like that a lot. Let me put this. Yeah, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, that hose screws on and it locks into place uh, on this uh, shop vac itself. And we also got all sorts of different attachments you can use for this unit itself. And one, two. This little stuff, you know. Now, how expensive can this be? Well, it only depends on what you're looking at for. Price rise, um, you can get these down at Lowe's, Home Depot, or whatever you decide to get. You can figure out how you can uh, get one of these. But let me show you the basics of how one of these things work, <coughs> shall we? And how you can take care of your equipment without it breaking. Now, a lot of people who complain about vac cleaners and you lose suction is every vac cleaner, guess what, uses a filter or bag, right? Yes, everything does. Now, this uh, motor attachment has a very long cord. I really do like that as well. Now, you do not pick it up with this. You pick it up on the sides with the handles or built onto it. Now, it's a two-handed operation, not a one-handed operation. And this is the motor attachment. <coughs> this is my leaf flow. We got a on and off switch. The green is the on, the red is off. 
Now, I don't know if you can see on the motor attachment, or the leaf blower attachment right now, if you can see, we have a filter right here. This filter would be needing to be cleaned every single time you use this system. Now, it's a Torx, and that's pretty cool. I don't know what size, I think it's a Torx 8 or a Torx 9. I'm not as potential on the Torx bit, but you gotta take the three screws, the black screws, out of the plastic housing like here, take this off, and take the filter out to wash it. Now, this is a washable filter, okay? Now, let's go ahead and turn that up. Now let's get into the canister. The canister here has a input and a output for liquid to go out as well. And yes, it does also have castles on the bottom. It does have wheels where you can actually move it. On the back, we have all the different places for your attachments. And you can also put the hose on the inside of your at the back. That's what's really nice about this unit. Let's go ahead and pop this out. Now, uh, I don't recommend taking the part you at back if it's brand new. It does have, I think, a two year or a three year warranty on the system. I don't know when I bought it. I bought it brand new. I used it, and it's still a good vacuum. Now, now over here, this is a non filter, if you can see. We'll get into that one second. Here is a non filter. This filter here is a non washable filter. This is on the paper. Uh, you can replace the filter itself by pulling it off if it gets very, very dirty and very clogged. This filter is paper. You cannot wash it, it does have pleats on the outside. Now, if you're a little bit smaller, uh, you can also blow this off, be very gently or suck off the dirt. But I do not recommend doing that because uh, you can also damage the pleats themselves. But this one is already coming apart a little bit because I don't know why it's doing that. But it's not that dirty, but once you uh, use it a very lot of time, you're going to notice you're going to lose a lot of suction without one of these filters. Now, do not have the filter on when you're using it for wet locations. Now, this is a twist on lock call, if you can see. This does twist on to the housing hill, and that what uh, holds the filter into place. But I really enjoy this type of vacuum. You can see. This is where the filter will go. And this little bar right here, or this little stopper, is where you can actually fill this up with water. And this will, as a floater, it will tell you uh, when it's full. Uh, put this right here. Now, on the inside of my canister, if you can see, I have a paper bag. This paper bag is a known uh, reason why you can use uh, paper or filters uh, for your, your wet backs themselves. So, I'm gonna pull this out. Put this off to the side, right now. And show you how this all works. This is what came with my uh, vacuum, okay? This is a paper bag. This is disposable. This is the, how you can keep your vacuum you know, to last a lot longer. Now, you can also buy replacement uh, bags and also replacement filters for the vacuum itself. This is how it's all folded. Let's see. Filter. Now, this is how you can take care of 
is by taking care of it the proper way is to show you on what you can actually use to take care of your wet vac and your shop vac as well. Okay, you have your choice of filters or you have your choice of paper bags. Now, put that over here. Put that over here. If you can want to see that. And we have all these different accessories and attachments you can also get with your back. Now, I want to explain about the hose. This black hose is a nice size hose, and yes, it does get very clogged over a period of time because of how much debris uh, you do vacuuming with your machine or how your wet vac has been taken care of. Properly. Yeah. That's just the way I figure out. Okay. How does it all work? How does everything work in a shop vac? A filter, a bag. You choose on whatever uh, unit you have, but make sure if you want to use sign. Use a uh, bag or a filter, your machine will last a lot longer than that. Take care of your machine, like this, okay? Now, if you guys are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please share, peace out, bye guys, or hopefully see you in the next vlog. Alright, later.